Hello friends. Welcome on the online lecture series of composite materials. Today we discuss on the unit number 5 testing inspection and standards in the composites. Today's topic is the non-destitute inspection of composites and its method. Lastly, we are familiar with the two methods ultrasonic then pulse echo method. Now today we discuss the radiographic testing and acoustic testing turn to first one which is radiographic testing during radiographic testing of a material it is exposed to x ray or gamma ray radiation that penetrates it and forms an image on a pixel type of the film this image is examined and interpreted to draw conclusion regarding the existence of possible defects and their characteristics x-ray radiography when x-ray or gamma rays are directed on a material the energy of the radiation is partially attenuated by absorption and scattering of the sum of the photos within the material the remaining photons travel through a material the number of times which is dependent on the energy of this thickness density and atomic weight of the material the ratio of linear absorption coefficient to the density of material that is mu divided by rho is the material constant called the mass absorption or which tend to increase with increasing atomic weight the mass absorption of the radiation increases exponentially with thickness and density a defect in the material represent change in the density and it results in the difference of attention when a photographic film is exposed to radiations and subsequently proceed in a developing solutions the exposed area become dark the degree of darkening depends on the amount of exposure minimum exposure that is maximum attention would result in a minimum darkening and vice versa thus a defect in the material can be depicted uh, detected by the difference in the shade in the film see the x-ray radiography there are the representation of this radiographic testing specimen are put in and then defect are occurs then source then x-ray beam are show on this specimen and the defect is on the x-ray film there are various advantages of this x-ray radiography radiographic testing is useful for det- detecting a wide range of defect that includes the debonds voids foreign material etc it can also used by taking tangential shots for thickness measurement of a part there is nearly no limitations on the type of material that can be tested by the radiography techniques practically no parts preparation is required in this method direct physical assay to the parts is not required permanent record of the defects can be obtained also there are some disadvantages of this x-ray radiography first one is the location of defects in the thickness direction cannot be obtained in the radiographic testing with short normal to the laminates assays to both the sides of the parts is required it is slow process you know then radiographic testing and expensive process then the radiographic testing is a highly hazardous process and adequate protective measure to the operators and nearby personnel are essential a high level of training operator or a train or skillful operator is essential for carried out this radiographic testing 
नंबर सेकंड मेथड इज अकॉस्टिक इमिशन वेन अ स्ट्रक्चर इज लोडेड इट अंडर गोज डिफॉर्मेशन एंड स्ट्रेन एनर्जी इज स्टोअर्ड इन इट द ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन अ लोडेड स्ट्रक्चर चेंजेस सडनली वेन डैमेज मैकेनिजम प्रोसेसेस सच एज अ क्रैक इनिशिएशन एंड प्रोपोगेशन डिलिमिनेशन फाइबर ब्रेकेज डिबॉन्ड्स एक्सेट्रा ऑकर्स दीज प्रोसेसेस आर असोसिएटेड विथ अ रैपिड रिलीज ऑफ स्ट्रेन एनर्जी द स्ट्रेन रिलीज एट स्ट्रेन एनर्जी इज पार्शली कंज्यूम्ड इन क्रैक प्रोपोगेशन बाय न्यू क्रैक सर्फेस क्रिएशन एंड प्लास्टिक जोन ग्रोथ सम ऑफ द रिलीज एट स्ट्रेन एनर्जी जनरेट्स ट्रांजियंट स्ट्रेस वेव्स This method means A is a term that refers to the generation of such transient trace waves. See the figure here. Then data acquisition, pre-amplifier, A sensor, then auto acoustic emission sensor, then source specimen. Apply how to load is applied, and the graphs on the computer are shown in the representation of this test setup of this. acoustic emission system the data of echo echocin parts consist primarily to this method with sensor and signal cables a number of sensors is an array are attached directly to the structure for detecting the signals the signals are pre amplified filtered post amplified and fed to the computer of for processing storage and display in an a test piezoelectric electrical transistor as used as sensor the sensor should be sensitive in the appropriate frequency range which for pmc material is usually 20 to 1000 kilohertz suitable gel type components are used to mounting the sensors on the component surface such that the sensor can remove after the test for the permanent bonding of sensor epoxy based adhesives are to be used even counting involves in the various groups open this counting techniques are employed together to plexicity principle in detecting damage initially and damage growth in the composite structure under the load there are various advantages and disadvantages this about this acoustic emission system or method there are first advantages this method for real time and continuous health monitoring of a structural under the load then second one it allows the detection of growing defects much before its critical size is released it is a cost effective and quick methods and easily the setup are available then it can be operate from the remote location in the unattended mode there are some disadvantages a testing demands the application of loads on the structure it is not suitable for determination of damage size a testing and data analysis become very complicated due to the anisotropic nature of the composites and high noise levels thank you friends